Starting today, a special stamp honoring our station's namesake is officially available for purchase from the Postal Service. Trailblazer, leader, icon, a few titles that come to mind when we talk about Katherine Meyer Graham. She was the owner and president of the Washington Post and the first female to lead a Fortune 500 company. So in honor of her latest achievement, we thought we'd take a look back at her journey to front a postage stamp. Here's News 6's Eric Von Aiken. To get here on a U.S. postal stamp, Katherine Meyer Graham started here. After losing her husband, she took over the Washington Post in 1963 with only newspaper reporting experience. She learned quickly she would have to prove herself every day. I thought the way men thought because I've been brought up in that world and that I was a sort of second-class citizen. Her biggest challenge was a showdown with President Nixon and the U.S. government during the Vietnam War. The Justice Department late today asked for a federal court order to stop the Washington Post. As depicted in the Steven Spielberg film The Post, Graham had to decide whether to publish what became known as the Pentagon Papers. Do you have the papers? A top-secret study revealing the truth about the war. Uh, and the Attorney General of the United States had sent her a message if you publish this and you are convicted of a crime as a result, the, the government can take away your television stations, which were about a third of the value of our company. Catherine Meyer's son, Don, the current chairman of Graham Holdings, tells me when his mom ultimately decided to go ahead with publishing the Pentagon Papers, she wasn't sure about it. I'm here asking your advice, Bob, not your permission. Which happened quite often, actually. My mother was, uh, oddly, was a CEO, but was a very, very self-doubting person. She was always saying to herself, I wonder if I'm getting this right. I wonder if I'm, I wonder if I'm not about to make some terrible mistake. We are extremely gratified. Catherine Meyer Graham was vindicated by the U.S. Supreme Court. And shortly after, through solid journalism and a commitment to truth-telling, Graham and The Post changed the course of history yet again, exposing the Watergate scandal that led to President Nixon's resignation. The fact that I was a woman made me more conspicuous. And in 1980, KMG, as we call her, was named the most influential woman in the country. It is a good lesson that somebody pretty normal, somebody who didn't have elaborate preparation, somebody who'd never been to business school, but who had good judgment and who picked great people to surround her and help her with decisions, turned out to be a really good leader. Quite a legacy. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Graham passed away in 2001 and her children found out almost a decade ago that the Postal Service was considering their mother. We just checked and a sheet of 20 will cost you about $15, a little more than that. And you know, we took a station field trip to see the Post back when that came out. Yeah. And it was such a cool experience and you know, really a lot of power behind those call letters. So yeah, we're proud that. of that. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure many people learned that today who mm -hmm. didn't know about our call letters, but it's, it's something to really be proud of here. And 